to create a new account because I have enough avatars but okay so you fill out all of this information and then you create your account you will get a new avatar the newest avatars that they have updated lately and then you will be sent to the tutorial guide area I'm not sure what is that place called okay we'll we'll find out we'll see what that place is called I will show that to you right now so this is the second life default viewer this is the viewer that you will download when you first create your account it's at the bottom of the website's screen to download this for free third-party viewers are Firestorm, Black Dragon, Singularity, and a few others. And you can find those on wiki.secondlife.com. And if, if you're interested in other viewers besides the Second Life default viewer, I know a lot of people are more comfortable with viewers like Firestorm because the second life viewer you don't get as much privacy and by privacy I mean with messaging and your avatar and groups and different things like that like it just it, it's a lot so anyway we will log on to the default viewer for this video well for the beginning this video <laughs> for you guys and I will oh Bella Sarah's anniversary coming up oh I'm, I have to go to that so <laughs> I'll film that too about that anniversary okay so after you log in and I have to figure out where <laughs> this place is for the for you guys coming into second life for the first time so let me see let me see uh, is it help island I think it's help island oh that's alone uh, Yep, it's Help Island, Help Island Building Tutorial. Help Island is a number of Sims put together, I believe. So this is the area that you will be logged into when you first, very, very first log into Second Life. Okay. So this is the area. Yes, hide beacon. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Oh, that's good. They have that on the Second Life viewer. <laughs> they should put that on the other, the third party viewers. So anyway, oh, look, there's a little frog policeman animish. <laughs> oh, no, he's a captain seller. Oh, he's, he's an actual person. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so <laughs> that's unexpected. <laughs> oh, it's a lizard. Okay. Okay. Oh, and there goes my jester. <laughs> So, anyway, okay. So, here's Help Island. Yeah, he was gonna keep talking to me, I guess. Oh, wow, we went to. What happened? What happened? What happened? Okay, that was weird. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. This isn't the actual spot, I believe, where you're TP to when you first log on. But this is a good area to start. So there's this freebie island store. Okay. And so here are a bunch of freebies to get you started, depending on what you like and what you're looking for. <clears throat> and so oh recycle the thing. That's cute. <laughs> and here's a sandbox. Sandboxes are areas where you can open up boxes if you're not the owner of the land that you're on and ready and opening for. And here's an exercise sign. That was never there before. <laughs> I wish they had that when I first started this exit sign to explore a second life and get you off of Health Island. So yeah, this place has changed a lot. And it looks like this general area yeah, this is it's more open, it seems. So, yeah. So, I since I'm an old avatar, the help screens will not show up for me. But there are usually help screens here. Oh, wait a minute. Let me... <clears throat> Okay, so when you first log on in your TP to help Alan, there will be some boxes, different boxes with help tips to guide you along Second Life. So they will appear here in in the upper left right upper right corner. Some will come in the upper left and down at the bottom on either side as well. So you will have those different help screens to help you to learn how to walk around and different stuff like that so and then it looks like they just put this here so you can search videos like this one to help guide you even more in second life and there are a lot of them now a lot of vloggers like myself are making a lot of these tutorial videos because we seem to be getting new residents almost every day <laughs> and they don't even know how to walk around Second Life. Now, I like to use the uh, WASD. And okay, so I push Control P on my PC. I'm on a PC, I don't know the Mac controls. So when you do that, there's Move and View here. Okay, and then you have these options of how to move around. Arrow keys always move me. You can tap, tap, hold to run. And the hold, jump, or crouch key to start or jump fly. And then down here, single click, click on land. What those will do, you will move to those points, like MMORPG, or if, if you double click, you will TP to that point. And advance of both controls. So here we go. These are the, and you can. No, I don't. No, no, you must. No, why did you do that? Okay. Default. Okay, so W S A D is is the general these are general movements in any mmo part rpg game that i've played i noticed this is a standard so 
you have that and you can set this up however you want to move your avatar they're called key bindings so for me when I want to jump I press E jump <laughs> and to fly I press F and when you're flying you use C to come back down and E moves you around and the arrow keys helps move you around as well and you can see my underwear <laughs> so yeah that's flying in SL that's what a lot of us used to do a lot in the past we would fly around like like Superman all the time okay okay so this help island and I will put a link to help island in the description so I think this is just a general help island I don't think this is where you come when you first log into a second life because when you first log into second life it's a completely different area it's like a, a palace entrance almost and I know they didn't do away with that and the sim is always filled with a lot of people so yeah I'm I'm you know what I'm not gonna even <laughs> worry about it but this is help Allen is a good place to get you started when you first come into the second life and the area where you're TP where you're logged into when you create your first avatar and you're in there has all those help hints that pop up for you okay and this what I'm using is the search I press control F for this window to pop up and there are other easier ways to pop up but I really just like using key shortcuts so there's this search bar here word that you can use to help you search so destination guide um, I did a video on the destination guide has the different destinations listed that are beautiful beautiful sims created by SL residents and some have been around for years like Tempora Island it's been around for so many years since 2008 yeah <laughs> so, and <clears throat> so yeah I highly advise using it especially if you have never played SL before like this tutorial guide the tutorial guide helps you to navigate the controls tabs menus etc and learn how to move around and everything <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, once you learn how to move around, it's time to create your avatar in your own image. To do that, there are a lot of places to start for cheap or free. I personally shop on Marketplace for everything these days, and this is Marketplace want to show this to you okay so this is marketplace and I've shown a video about marketplace before because I am a marketplace phenom I shop on marketplace religiously it saves me time of moving around sims that are too laggy or that I just don't feel like dealing with <laughs> so yeah so marketplace is definitely a good place for freebies so what I like to type in this keywords bar the search bar is free or freebies so these are some freebies to get you started <laughs> well <Wow. laughs> 
with sushi. They they kill me. They have. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised by masu masushi masushi having something like that. <laughs> but okay, so look, even this is a free house. It has 29 linden land impact. It doesn't look as though it's mesh. It's prim. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense because it's a freebie that it's made from all prims. But it takes you back to the Stone Age. <laughs> and this is a free outfit. <clears throat> so, if you like something like this, this is a free group from Adams to get you started. And you already know I shop at Adams. That's where my rainbows are from. And among other things. This is a freebie from Merch. And Merch is a nice store too. So, so yes, when you go to Marketplace, you will definitely find some one linden outfits. And different things like that. <clears throat> to get you started. And then there are different accessories and underwear. There are some freebie tattoos. Oh, wow. They have, they even have that. Okay. <laughs> Poses. And then on the side here, the categories, you can go by category to lessen the search or filter out what you want. And I usually don't do zero to 10 linden because you'll end up with a bunch of demos, which costs zero linden. <laughs> but it's a good place to get started. Ooh, and so you have a lot of free poses. <clears throat> free decor items. Random stuff. So. You can get free shapes and free skin. And, yeah, so if that's what you're looking for, go for it. <laughs> so when it comes to creating your avatar, I personally, well, again, I, I used to go to a freebie galaxy and some other freebie stores that I'm not sure if they are still around or not. I was very big on Freebie Galaxy and I thought I saw it one day. And so I'm not sure if it's still around. How about we check that out? So there looks to be two Freebie Galaxies, which is weird. This was established in 2010. Okay, so that's not the one that was around when I started SL. So, wait, was it? Well, I started in 20, not 2009, but Freebie Galaxy. Really? <coughs> Hello, I don't want to be rude. So I say hi. So I think what I need to do is go into, go ahead and go into busy mode <laughs> as not to get disturbed by randomness. So anyway, so I think this is the Freebie Galaxy. Maybe I guess because... Hmm. Yep, this is it. This is the one. So, yeah, I, I, the store I went to when I very first logged on, I don't think it's around anymore, and I can't even remember the name of it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, so this is Free Week Galaxy, and we'll go ahead and let this rest in. Got a good rental. Don't take. Kind of sounds like one of those classy little firms they advertise on TV. <laughs> so, hmm. So, Freebie Galaxy has some good stuff. And they have a nice little wall here that tells you where to teleport next. That's very helpful. 
you know, see Tim Four Island is very popular. Builders Bury. I love Builders Bury because they teach you classes on how to build different things from scripts to prim building to mesh. And the teachers, I, I believe, are SL residents that create items. So there's a lot you can learn. Gore, that used to be heavily popular. I don't know if it's still around anymore. Oh, wait, no, of course it's still around, but I don't know if it's as popular as it used to be. But as you can see here, it's the largest role play community on Second Life. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, my allergies are kicking my butt this season. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the biggest community. I I didn't get into gore because I was a bit intimidated and afraid because of how the men in that role play are. They just, it just was too much for me. And I don't, yeah, I, I just, <laughs> It was, <clears throat> gore to me is very misogynistic. That's just my opinion. And uh, and I'm not with that. <laughs> As being a member of the Dominion will tell you. I'm a, I'm into fandom, so I'm a, I'm a master, I'm a mistress. But anyway, so Da Vinci Gardens is, oh, I love this place. This was one of the very, very first places that I went to in the first group that I joined and I'm still a member of. I love Da Vinci Gardens. But anyway, <laughs> enough about that. So these are the different freebies that you can get here. A lot of, you can get a free full avatar and everything. And it's not going to, it's not going to be, you know, the best. <laughs> but it's it's to get you started <clears throat> so yeah oh goodness so for hair similar to what i have on my hair for women i shop at pumpkin pump punk licks oh my goodness <laughs> punk list in FQ and they have freebies for one linden and that was a couple of months ago where I went and I just brought up a lot of hair that I liked that was one linden and I'm not sure if at their new location they have the hair for one linden anymore but there is a section where they have all the old hair that they're going to discontinue and it's probably on sale still for one linden so I would check that out link is provided <clears throat> if you like flexi hair for mesh hair there's places like Rama vanity fit vanity hair mm. there's a lot of places then then Lika stint I don't know if I'm saying that correctly and uh, yeah places like that <clears throat> For male avatars, there's unisex places for hair such as Tatakomi, Tatakomi, Take, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, and where else? <laughs> what, what's it called? Roselli? Uh, Red Grave, hmm, Emotions, I'm trying to think where I got my male hair from. Because a lot of his hair, I believe, is from Take Tomi, and so, yeah. It's unisex. Yeah, it's Taketome. So, yes, you can buy hair and accessories there. And yeah, that's a great that's a great store. 
They have great male hair, in my opinion. Oh, Orthodox. Orthodox. Yes. Orthodox is awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do... Yeah, I'll share a little clippage of Orthodox. So, yeah, those are just some places to get you started. Please check out my skin video for a few stores to get you started there. There are a ton of these videos here on YouTube, so I will link the ones that I've seen along with mesh head tutorials. Now, if you are a mesh person, I recommend Let Luca and Katwa for heads because the animations on their heads are amazing. For bodies, I would say it depends on what you you are going for. I like to have my avatar as a copy of my real life self sometimes. So I <clears throat> get close up there. <clears throat> so I sometimes use the Matreya Laura. It works for me. I would have gotten the Petite, but that was before I started to have my avatar look more like me. So I'm just sticking with the Laura body because it, it's working out very well. Anyway, I used to prefer Slink Hourglass and Slink Physique. I still have those bodies and wear them from time to time, but Matreya is my go-to. The E-body is another great body for a curvy woman like myself, and I would have gotten the Cupra, but if you've seen my review video on that, I was not fond of the waist on that. My waist is the correct proportion to my hips and shoulders for my hourglass frame, which that body is not. I just, I don't like, like it, you guys. <laughs> Many women do, and that's why I'm mentioning it here. Now, when doing anything, try the demo first. I, I stay by this mantra. When you are about to spend 10 or 12K on creating an amazing avatar, you want to try demos. Don't waste your money. I'm going to do a second part to this and maybe a third to go over different things to expect in Second Life. For those that don't know, in the early days, there was a team grid and an adult grid created separately. And for some reason, they decided to merge the grids. So check out my Destination Guide video here <clears throat> for the sim ratings and what to look for on those type of sims. Honestly, in my opinion, just like in real life, you will come across people and get into situations that you unknowingly attract. Whether it's your personality, the way that you dress, the way that you present yourself, it could be anything. But I've learned from real life that you are what you attract. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And that's very true whether you're in high school, college, a corporation, a firm, whatever. It's a proven fact. And if you take the time to sit and look around you, you will see it. And here's a good video to watch that talks about this very thing. Now, I didn't mention the inventory, so these tabs here at the bottom, if you can see, these are what will appear on your viewer when you log in. And this is your gesture menu, uh, menu of this different gestures. I, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I, make gestures and I 
these are a lot of ones that I've gotten for free at different events and parties, ones that I've made, ones that I've purchased before I started making my own. And then there are host scripts because I used to be a, her a host full time for about three, four years of my SL. <clears throat> and it was fun. I liked it, but, you know, I had times where I didn't like it. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Bali Coco does a wonderful has a wonderful video on how to be a host in second life so i would check that out and i'm so glad she made it because that saves me time from making something like that <laughs> i would make one on how to be a stripper but is that really necessary <laughs> yes i have experience as a stripper that was one of the first things i started doing when i first came into second life and I made um I met amazing people and I'm so upset because those people, half of them are no longer in Second Life. And it's so messed up because they were awesome. And this is just me and my own view perspective. The people that I met when I first started Second Life, they're like rare gems. You can't find people like that in Second Life anymore, really. Um, not not really. Um, you would really have to search high and low to find people like that. And it really broke my heart when they left Second Life and stopped playing or who knows what happened. And yeah, so I'm just finding it hard nowadays to find people that I connect with like that. Even in my sorority, I, you know, I don't have that connection. And I, I will do a video on the sororities in Second Life if requested. If you guys want to see that, I will, I will do something like that. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I'm going to play adjust it for you. <laughs> or how about? Let me see. Yeah, I, I don't know <laughs> that, that one. So, and these right here, I purchased these. I don't even, I was on some other stuff when I got these gestures. <laughs> but, so in this shirt is for what you're wearing. The, these are outfits that I created in my inventory so that I can quickly change clothing. And I do this every season for every event and stuff like that. <clears throat> so they're my outfits. And then wearing, that's what I currently have on my avatar. So all of my attachments, clothing, skin, tattoos, it's all listed here. <coughs> Ooh. Excuse me, excuse me, so stuffy, stuffy. <laughs> oh. So this here is for you to buy linden. So you can purchase linen and there is a transaction fee of a dollar forty seven now and it looks like on top of that there's the US tax that's being added even though the one forty seven I could have sworn was already taxed. I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that because that just really bothers me. <laughs> so and this is takes you to marketplace inside of the viewer. Which it is convenient. It saves on, you know, realm usage and stuff but mm. Mm. so yeah <laughs> oh Talik is oh yeah D Talik is a great store for male black male avatars specifically black male avatars <clears throat> 
they have they have Caucasian, but they have amazing black <coughs> black African Haitian whatever. They have great skin. I I think but as I've said in my other a previous video, I shop at Stray Dog for my male avatar. And since I'm in Marketplace, I'm going to go to Stray Dog here. I'm not going to go in World, but I will attach an in World link landmark for that. So this is Stray Dog. Stray Dog is amazing to me. They have great Let Luca Evo X skin and beers other add-ons yeah, was the eyebrows for men so I would check out straight out they're at different events specifically um, well I, I found them at Neo Japan my first time <coughs> finding out about straight out Ooh, excuse me and then I saw Boston's Blythesdale's video about straight out and I'm going to link Boston's channel here. So just check out his entire channel because he makes awesome videos, especially for new avatars, new male avatars. No, he's a great resource to check out. So yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about in this video. I will probably do a part two. I probably will do a part two. Because there's a lot to go over in Second Life. I mean, you, there's a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. And, yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye.